Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for LifeScript.com. Dr. Christy Funk is a breast cancer surgeon and the founder of the Pink Lotus Breast Center in Beverly Hills. Celebrities like Angelina Jolie and Sheryl Crow have sought her out because of her work in minimally invasive treatment methods. At the Women's Health Summit for Cancer Schmancer, she gave us great tips on how women can lower their chances of getting breast cancer. Can you tell me what women are doing right when it comes to breast cancer and what we still need to work on? I think most women know that they're supposed to get their annual mammogram starting at age 40 and not skipping years, even though they may get a little late in there at times. Um, but what they may not be doing right is reacting to the news of their mammogram result. So if you're told, hey, your mammogram's fine, you're not supposed to just be like, all right, yeah, I'm off for a year. You need to ask if your breast tissue is dense. You need to know, because if it is, and 50% of women under 50 have dense breast tissue, and 30% over 50 do, all of those women need to add more to their mammogram. Usually a whole breast screening ultrasound is what I recommend. If they have strong family history, we add MRI. So women need to do that. They also need to understand how to do a self-breast exam. I want them doing monthly exams one week after their periods. So it's not just the mammo and you're good. I'm someone that falls into the category of having to have an ultrasound every single year with my mammogram. But I don't have a family history, but I also think that that's a falsehood. A lot of people don't think, oh, I don't have a breast cancer history, I'm fine. That's a big misnomer, isn't it? Oh, it's my most hated thing that people say. Like, oh, well, breast cancer's not my thing in my family, there's no breast cancer. Well, 85% of every single person diagnosed does not have a single relative with breast cancer that they know of. So a clean family tree just somewhat eliminates some crazy genetic mutation that is pretty unforgiving, but it doesn't eliminate the chance of breast cancer. It's one in eight, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and people need to pay attention to those numbers. Yeah. What can we do? I know you were talking a lot about, you know, you have to, you have to keep fit, lower the alcohol intake. What are some other steps that we need to take as women to lower our chances of breast cancer? Well, a lot of the things that I'll say keep your heart healthy and your whole body and mind strong. It's always about achieving balance, everything in moderation. So the alcohol, you want to cut back to like a drink a day. You want to figure out if you're overweight. You want to target your ideal body weight. You can Google those calculators and figure out if you need to lose weight or not. Eating a high fiber, low fat diet, tons of fruits and vegetables, lean meats like fish and turkey, and not a lot of red meat, burnt meat that will reduce cancer risk, high antioxidant content in your foods. You want to exercise, ideally, and this may be a stretch for some, but ideally three to four hours a week, vigorous exercise. Spread it out over, you know, the whole week. How about alternative therapies? I, we hear a lot of that when it comes to cancer. East-West medicine, how about people that just look at Eastern medicine yeah. for cancer treatment? You know, I like to put all my eggs all over the backyard. So I would say complementary, not alternative, right? So if you want to pursue uh, Chinese medicine, herbal concoctions and acupuncture, and maybe do one of those week-long spa mud baths where you do coffee enemas and all, so I don't, it's all good. But don't ignore what actually has scientific data and tried and true early detection, easy cures. Show up for the mammogram. If there's something there, Stick a needle in it, get a biopsy, do it all.